morning everybody it is 8 a.m and i woke up at 7 this morning i never wake up that early so today i'm feeling pretty motivated i guess i wanted to get to the gym and get a workout in before i have an orthodontist appointment at 10. so i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna do a back workout today I didn't even work out yesterday because I was so sore from a leg workout and that ab workout that I posted in my what I eat in a day video and I was just, I can't go to the gym because I am so sore and today I honestly don't feel any better but I have to go to the gym because I feel gross if I don't go so hey, I think I want to go to Trader Joe's today and I want to get some food. There's two videos that I want to do. I want to try a what I eat in a day raw vegan edition. I'm not raw vegan. I don't want to be raw vegan, but I think it'd be interesting to see like how I feel eating raw vegan and if it's easy, if it's hard. So I want to make that video and then I want to make a what I eat in a day high protein vegan because I know some people are concerned transitioning to a vegan diet about where they get their protein from. So thought maybe that it'd be cool, interesting to see some high protein vegan meals i don't know like how many grams of protein is considered high protein but i'll probably aim to get like 100 grams of protein on that day whatever that is so that's the plan for today and yeah we're just gonna hopefully go crush this workout right now and i will see you guys after when i'm done okay workout complete it was a very short workout because it's 9 a.m. now, so I was only in there for an hour. But I got in four supersets of back exercises, so I think that that was pretty good. But now I have to run home because my appointment is in one hour. It's like a 15 minute drive from my house, so. And a little bit of a rush, but that's okay, so I'm gonna head home. Might make a protein shake, not sure. If my mom is working downstairs, then I can't make a protein shake because the blender's loud. Then I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I will show you guys when I get home. Okay, outfit of the day. Brandon Melville, tank top, Victoria's Secret bralette, random jeans from a boutique, and then I got this Steve Madden backpack at Nordstrom Rack literally yesterday. Trader Joe's picked up a lot of stuff for uh, my raw vegan trial and I'm so proud of myself because I finally got reusable grocery bags which I've wanted to do for so long just never really did it so happy I got some of those but quick little story time I was in the Trader Joe's parking lot unloading my groceries into my car and this guy pulls up in his car next to me and he says excuse me I'm a little lost and then he pauses and then he says, can I have your number? And I was like, no. And then he's like, why not? And I just like walked away. That made me so uncomfortable. Why do you guys do that? Let, let me know. It is now lunchtime. It is 1.30 and I wrote some of my paper. I think I have about 4,500 words now. So about 1,500 more to go. But I got really hungry and needed a break. So now I'm going to eat my lunch. So I made oatmeal and I cooked it in soy milk and also threw in some hemp seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds for protein and omega-3s and then topped it with a banana, an apple, blueberries, and peanut butter protein granola. I never put apples in my oatmeal. I've never tried that before. So hopefully I like it, but I ran out of strawberries so decided to throw an apple on there instead. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna watch some One Tree Hill because that's my favorite show of all time. Literally seen it like no joke seven times through, but I'm just obsessed with it and I can't stop watching it. And when it's over, I get sad. And 
I feel empty without it and then I start watching it again. So it's just a cycle, me and One Tree Hill. But if you have any other Netflix or Hulu recommendations for TV shows that I should watch, please let me know because I love One Tree Hill so much and I will always keep watching it. But at the same time, kind of want to start something new, something different just so I can have another show to watch and not know what's going to happen every second of the show. So I'm just gonna eat my lunch, watch some TV, chill for a little bit, and then I might go back work on my paper. I'm just, I'm really overwriting it because I'm at the point where I just have no more words left to say, but I have to write more words, so <sighs> we'll see. Maybe I'll just save it for tomorrow. I have finished my oatmeal, but now I've decided that I want to be productive and I don't want to write my paper though, so instead of doing that, I think I'm going to find some stuff to sell on Poshmark. Really into that at the moment. If you want to go buy my stuff, check out my Poshmark. But I have so much stuff that I just don't use or wear anymore and I I'm going to try and sell it. We'll, we'll give it an attempt. Let me look around mostly shoes i have so much shoes that i don't wear anymore <laughs> like these nope don't need them got some these blue converse that i don't think i need these nope they're going my mindset is if i didn't bring it to college i clearly don't need it because i went without it for a year and didn't think about it so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to round up all the stuff that I want to sell. And I'm going to sell it. Hopefully sell it. so expensive that's my question um hmm I guess we'll well this one has more cartridges so that's the better deal yes look at me shopping smart moving on so I just popped into CVS because I needed to get a couple things and I just left Michael's house. We went out to dinner. We went to Noodles and & Company and I've never been there before as a vegan, but they have one like n n item on their menu that's vegan with no adjustments and that's Japanese pan noodles. I thought they were pretty good, so recommend. And then we went bowling. But now, CBS Hall. Only got two things, but I got the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion because I use the cleanser and really like it. The moisturizer that I'm using right now, I think it's breaking me out because it's so thick that it's clogging my pores. So hopefully that'll be better. And then I also got some razor heads, literally $27 for razor heads. I, I don't know why we're still spending our money on this, but we are. And I was also looking for a cruelty-free mascara because I really want to do a cruelty-free makeup um, look and just in general start using all cruelty-free products. But I couldn't find a cruelty-free mascara that got good reviews from the drugstore. And I also like waterproof mascara is so much better than normal because my eyelashes don't hold curl well. So I'm probably just going to order one from Sephora, but I don't know which one to get. 
because uh, I use like drugstore mascaras now because it's just cheaper but I couldn't find any ones that were good at the drugstore but gonna head home now probably edit this video and then maybe I'll upload it tonight I don't know we shall see but thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you liked it if you did then please subscribe it would mean so much to me and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.